All right, the trial of an alleged serial killer known as the Hollywood Ripper is underway in Los Angeles. Prosecutors say Michael Gargiulo attacked four women with a knife, killing three of them. His alleged crimes go back to 1993 and stretch halfway across the country. 48 Hours correspondent Maureen Maher has been covering this story for more than a decade. She's outside the Cook County Prosecutor's Office in Chicago. Maureen, good morning. Good morning, Anthony. So why am I standing in front of a county jail in Chicago instead of the one in Los Angeles where Michael Gardulo is awaiting day two of his trial? That's because investigators say this is where the accused serial killer got started. And it won't come to an end until he is back here to face a judge and jury. Michael Gargiulo sat without emotion, listening to prosecutors describe him as a serial sexual thrill killer. He watched and collected real-time intelligence on the victims and then manipulated the circumstances to provide himself with the perfect opportunity to pounce and kill in blitz-type knife attacks. Prosecutors accuse 43-year-old Gargiulo of murdering three women, including 22-year-old Ashley Ellerin, who was friendly with Hollywood actor Ashton Kutcher. On the night of the 2001 killing, Kutcher went to Ellerin's home to pick her up for a party, but left after she didn't answer the door. Ellerin's body was found the next morning outside her bathroom. Ashley had been stabbed over 47 times. Kutcher has avoided talking publicly about the case, but he is expected to be called as a witness during the trial. Investigators believe the killing actually started eight years earlier. They say in 1993, Gargiulo killed his neighbor while living in Illinois. The body of 17-year-old Trisha Picaccio was found on her back door steps by her father. Gargiulo grabbed Trisha, snapped her arm, and stabbed her repeatedly. Boccaccio's murder went unsolved until 48 Hours Mystery aired this report on her case in 2011. Following the broadcast, two new witnesses came forward. Within weeks, Gargiulo was charged in connection with her 1993 death. After Gargiulo moved to Los Angeles, police say the former handyman and boxer found new victims. In 2005, he allegedly killed 32-year-old Maria Bruno, a mother of four who lived in his apartment complex. Hello? This muffled 911 call reveals the moments after Gargiulo allegedly attacked then 26-year-old Michelle Murphy in 2008. He would be armed with just the knife. <laughs> Murphy, who'd been woken up to someone stabbing her, managed to fight off her attacker and survive. Gargiulo was later arrested after prosecutors say his DNA was found at the scene. Gargiulo could face the death penalty in California, but regardless of the verdict out west, the Picaccios, who live here in suburban Chicago, have been told by the Cook County State's Attorney's Office he will be immediately transferred back here once everything wraps up in L.A. to face murder charges. In the 26-year-now-long saga for this family, they've been waiting a couple of decades to have justice for their daughter's murder. Vlad? And hopefully that justice will come. Maureen, thank you very much.